guys. So here is my May wrap-up. The first book I finished in May was The Big Tiny. This is an uncorrected proof that I won through the Goodreads First Read program. And basically it is a memoir by Dee Williams who built this little house that you see here. Essentially the size of a trailer that she lives in. So it's all about minimalism and living an eco-friendly life. I really enjoyed it. It was definitely an easy read and very entertaining. And I thought it was awesome that this woman set out to build this house pretty much all on her own and accomplished it. I gave The Big Tiny 4 out of 5 stars. In May I also read The Wonderful Wizard of Oz for the first time. And the edition that I read was actually a facsimile of the original published edition. So it had all of the illustrations and even the original font, so that was a really cool experience. I am, of course, very familiar with the movie The Wizard of Oz with Judy Garland. So reading the book was definitely a new experience for me because if you have read the book, you know that a lot is different and everything is just kind of a little bit more silly and strange. It actually reminded me a lot of The Chronicles of Narnia. So I really loved The Wonderful Wizard of Oz and I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. The next book I read was The Thorn and the Blossom by Theodora Goss. This is a book published by Quirk Books, and I actually won this on a Facebook giveaway. Aside from the beautiful cover, the book is also an accordion. So you can start on one side of the story, read to the end, and open it up and start the other side of the story. Basically, The Thorn and the Blossom is a really sweet love story that also includes a little bit of myth. If you've ever heard of The Green Knight, it involves that story, and I just really enjoyed it. It's super quick. You can read it in like three hours, and I recommend it just for the beautiful physical object. I gave The Thorn and the Blossom five stars out of five. And then I finally finished reading Dracula. This was one of my lunch break ebooks and it took me a while to get through. It was definitely an interesting experience reading the original Dracula story for the first time. Being so familiar with Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Twilight, I didn't find very much in Dracula to be surprising. It seemed to be written as if we were supposed to be in suspense about what was really going on, but to me it was pretty obvious because the story is just so ingrained in our culture. And as I said in my last wrap-up video, I kind of get annoyed by journal books or letter books that don't read like letters people would actually write because they just have way too much accurate dialogue and this is totally the case with Dracula. There are very long sections where someone is writing in their journal and they will copy down multiple page long speeches word for word by other characters and that's just not very realistic to me. So I ended up giving Dracula three stars out of five. After I finished that ebook I decided to finally continue with the Mortal Instruments series picking up with the fourth book, City of Fallen Angels, and then I immediately continued on with City of Lost Souls. I sped through both of these books. They were just really enjoyable. I gave the fourth book five stars, and I gave the fifth book four stars. The only reason that I really gave the fifth book only four stars was because I felt that the section with Clary and Jace just went on for too long without any progress in the plot. But overall, these are just really fun books. And although I don't consider them to be favorites and I don't really plan on reading them again in the future, I do really enjoy the series as a whole and I would really like to read the rest of Cassandra Clare's works. Including, of course, City of Heavenly Fire, which I have not yet started and I don't know when I'll get to it, so no spoilers. And then I decided to pick up Start Here Volume 2. Start Here is a book put on by Book Riot where 25 different people write about 25 different authors that they love and know really well and tell you where to start within their body of work. Both Volume 1 and Volume 2 have a very wide array of authors and genres. You can also pick these books up in ebook form, so I really recommend checking them out if there are some authors that you're not sure where to start with. There weren't a whole lot of authors in here that I was interested in or already hadn't heard of and 
added to my to read list. So I gave this book 4 out of 5 stars, even though it kind of feels weird to give it a rating since it's not really a story. It's more like just a resource guide, but I still recommend that you check it out and see if there are some authors that you're interested in. Start Here was the last book that I had received recently through either a giveaway or Kickstarter or from publishers. So after finishing this, I finally started a Dave Eggers book. This is You Shall Know Our Velocity, and the writing style is very similar to a heartbreaking work of Staggering Genius, though I didn't quite fall in love with it the same way that I did Heartbreaking Work. And I really tried to finish this in May, but it was getting late and I still had 50 pages left, so I went to bed and I picked it up in early June and finished it off pretty quickly. I gave You Shall Know Our Velocity 4 out of 5 stars. It might be something more like 3.5 or 3.75, but I did enjoy it and I'm looking forward to see how the movie starring Daniel Radcliffe will turn out. And for what I plan to read in June, I pretty much plan to continue on with Dave Eggers' books. I've already started reading What is the What, which is a fictionalized version of a true story, so technically it's a novel. I'm about 30 pages in so far, and it's at least 400 pages, so it might take me a while, but I am enjoying it so far. As for other book-related updates in my life, you can probably tell that I do indeed have a new bookshelf. And as you can probably tell, there is plenty of room to fit all of my tall books. So that's all for this video. Let me know if you've read any of these books and what your thoughts are, and let me know what you're reading right now. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.